Hello and welcome to a highlight of this crucial Pool A match between England and India played at the Kingsmead Stadium in Durban. It was crucial because of the state of Pool A at the start of the day. England second on 12 points, having won three from four. India likewise, three from four on 12 points. Both teams feeling that if they won this match to take them to 16 points, that would almost certainly guarantee them a place in the Super Sixes. India won the toss, decided uh, they would bat first. Those are the teams, Sewag and Tendulkar at the top of the order, Ganguly, Mongia, Dravid, Yuvraj Singh and Mohammad Kaif, seven specialist batsmen on the Indian side. Then the off-spinner, Harbhajan Singh, the seamers, Zaya Khan, Ashish Nehra and Jevagal Srinath. For England, Triscothic Knight, Vaughan, Hussein, Stewart and Collingwood, the main batsmen. The all-rounders, Flintoff, White and Irani. Irani playing instead of Ashley Giles from the side that played at Cape Town the other day. And then Andy Caddick and James Anderson. So, those are the teams. Let's see what happens in the Indian innings. Well, a lot rests on the shoulders, certainly of Sachin Tendulkar, yet again. The little master, as he's known, he's certainly been masterful in this tournament. Virendra Sewag, the highest score of 126. He's been shorter runs in the tournament, but he's made runs before against England. A real stroke maker. Sometimes very hard to tell these two men apart when they're at the crease together. They play in much the same sort of manner, same sort of build. That's well played. Nicely turned off his legs. It's a quick outfield. And the first boundary of the game, Tendulkar on his way. Well, he's kissed it, he's caressed it, and he's just eased it through the leg side. Oh, he's gone for it. And just out of the reach of fine leg. Tendulkar just losing balance as he played it. Well, he's gone after that one, and he doesn't need to run. That's spanked for the offside and a boundary to end the over. 24 for no loss. And that's another four. Well, it's an unusual experience for James Anderson. An expensive over, 16 runs from it. It's 42 without loss. That's whipped away. Two full into the legs. Well, the good start from England. It's been undone by the Indian batsman. Well, I think he knew that uh, there would be a response. He was there, his back foot waiting for it. And what a way to bring up the 50. Well, I must tell you, BP, this is a, a very different Tendulkar that I'm seeing today off late. He hasn't batted in this fashion. Well, that's pummeled away. There was no real pace in that delivery. It was, uh, I have to say, put there rather than bold and dispatched. Leading edge, and out. That's what England needed. The best way to slow down the run rate, take wickets. So, uh, leading edge. Well, just what the England captain needed, a break. And it's come in the shape of Virendra Sehwag. Short of length delivery, and Sehwag will be disappointed with the shot. I think it's a bit too early into the shot. Angling in, so he was looking to play on the leg side, getting the high part of the bat as well, so the bounce as well, as some movement of the ball pitch. Counting for Sehwag's dismissal, he's gone for 23, and India 60 for one. Paul, takes him under 44, 15 from the over, it's 75 for one. Tendulkar seeking that 50 now. He's got it. That's a good shot. Well, Ganguly now finds his timing as well. Got him. That will make all the difference to England. It's Flintoff who's done the damage for the second time today. The drinks break might just have done something to the concentration of Sachin Tendulkar, but if there is a weakness, that's where it is. Well, there you go. How many times we've seen it in the past? That after a drinks break, 
A batsman who's playing so well can lose concentration. And a big, big wicket here for England. Tendulkar, who was going along so well. Extra bounce there that's done the trick. Tendulkar unable to keep it down. England will take that. Two wickets for Flintoff. Tendulkar departs for 50. 91 for two. That's the problem with this line. You cannot go wide. That is too wide. That relieves the pressure that had been built. Not sure I agree with this bowling change. Not at this stage. Hoisted down the ground, but this could well be out. It is out. The pressure has worked. And Sarah Ganguly has gone, the captain. Craig White picks up the wicket. Well, you said no one's tried to take it on picked the wrong ball I think he's got right at the bottom of the bat he's usually so strong there Ganguly but it's Craig White back into the attack around the wicket long shot he knows there he's in trouble here's Triscothic keeps his eye on the ball not England's fastest mover but a safe pair of hands and that's another big wicket for England India's captain has gone for 19 107 for three that's four runs it's the first time, really, that uh, Andrew Flintoff has bowled anything that might be considered like a bad ball. And it's certainly the first time that Dinesh Mongir has looked convincing. That has found a way to it. It's uh, Dravid's first boundary. Well, that's well struck. He's taken the risk, gone over the top and got the boundary. So welcome boundary here for Dinesh Mongia. Looking to work it on the onside, the finger goes up. Good change of pace from Collingwood. Has done the trick for England. And uh, the partnership that India were looking to build on has been broken. And now it's not a good innings, now that he's gone Mongia, he's dwelt at the wicket and it's Collingwood of all people. Little dinky medium pace, the lines are in, it pitches in the lines, it holds its line. It's hitting right on the knee ball, it's going nowhere other than middle. Paul Collingwood snares one for England, Dinesh Mongia has finished for India, 32, 155 for four. Yuvrat Singh, the new man out there for the Indians, 64 matches for him. He's a good striker of the ball, good strike rate as well, over 80. He's done exactly that. No need to run for that. He's such a clean striker. And that's sailed into the crowd. Oh, warm it on. That's worked away on the onside. And he'll get the boundary. Caddick isn't happy. But just drifting onto leg stump. Right, he's giving himself room. Craig White stayed over the wicket, that surprised me. The four brings up the 200. But I'd have thought he'd have gone over the, around the wicket and tried to tuck him up around leg stump. Oh, that's fine. That's clever batting. I think that I, and I'm not happy with the line. I think he should be around the wicket and bowling up and into middle and leg. Well, maybe I've seen went the other way this time. Slower ball, and he's spotted it. He's clubbed it. He's got four for it. That's the wicket. That's what they wanted. The change has worked. The captain takes the catch. James Anderson back among the wickets. Uraj Singh's innings comes to an end, but it's been a good one for India. 42 from just 38 balls. The innings drawing to a close. Not too many overs left, not too many balls left, but this is a big wicket for Nasir Hussain. Coming round the wicket, Yuvra Singh couldn't get the room that he was looking for with Craig White, who was bowling over the wicket, trying to make room to play on the offside. Reasonably struck, but in the air, just enough for Nasir Hussain to take a good catch. Good contribution, 42 to Yuvra Singh. He scored 217 for five. And this is clubbed away, and that's four more. Well, well, Dravid. He started it, Mohamed Kay. 
hit high in the air, should be out. Is out. Andrew Flintoff takes the simplest of catches. Mohamed K, his little flurry comes to an end. It doesn't matter, there's only three balls left. It's again a length ball from Andy Caddick. And Mohamed Kaif was looking for that space behind the short mid wicket fielder or other mid wicket fielder inside the circle. Just getting high on the bat, and that's been a feature of India's batting. A lot of batsmen getting the ball a bit higher on the bat. It's the extra bounce here in Durban. Simple catch to Flintoff. Kaif had no choice but to go for the big one. Gone for five, India 250 for six. Slow ball, that could be out. It is. Two wickets and two balls. Rogues Ravid, well, he'll feel unlucky. He hit that probably cleaner than he's hit anything all day. He just hit it hard and flat. And picked out Paul Collingwood that long on. Well, this game's good at all. We could have a hat trick as well. You've got to feel for Dravid because that came out the middle of the bat. He hasn't got too many in the middle of the bat. Again, it's the length delivery, the slow ball. And looking to heave it much wider than it actually went and straight down the throat the long on fielder Collingwood won't drop that but such an important innings for India 62 gets an ovation a well-deserved one 250 for seven India slow ball and that's run out Alex Stewart you can't fault his skittle skill Slower ball, Harvajan Singh beaten all ends up by it. They tried to take the single. Well, the third umpire wasn't needed. But there was the hat trick, the team hat trick, not Andy Caddick's. Harvajan Singh, when Zahir Khan came into bat, this is the first thing I think he told Zahir Khan if the ball goes to the keeper, run for it. Alex Stewart has seen it all. He knew exactly what the batsmen were up to, well prepared to run the batsman down. Gone for a duck. 250 for it. One ball to go. We've had three wickets in a row. Two to the bowler, one to Alex Stewart. The run out. Last ball. Slow ball in the air. Plugged and caught. Four wickets in four balls to finish the Indian innings. Andy Caddick picks up three wickets in his last over. Three and four balls, and in between, a run out. Marcus Soskothic taking the catch. The innings comes to an end. India then, 250 for nine. Well, how often have you seen this? Four wickets of four balls, one run out, three picked up by Andy Caddy. It's again the slow delivery. And because there is that bounce in the pitch, it's working well for Andy Caddick. And every Indian batsman has failed to keep the ball down and not got over it. It's that extra bounce again. So, Harbhajan Singh and Srinath walk back as it's been a bit of a disappointing finish after it promised much more well some useful contributions to say the least from Sachin Tendulkar who looked in fantastic form that was a key wicket for England to uh, slow the rate down when that rate did slow Dinesh Monge took his while to get to 32 Raul Dravid showed a lot of patience to start with ended up with 62 from 72 deliveries Yuvraj Singh added some acceleration towards the end then those wickets right at the end in the final over meant it was an almost fruitless final over. The final total for India, 250 for nine from their 50 overs. Well, the star of the bowling attack for England on this day, Andrew Flintoff, 10 overs, two maidens, two for 15. Without him, that momentum might well have stayed with India, and the final total might well have been a lot higher than the 250. Caddick and Anderson expensive today. Caddick picking up those wickets in his final over, still three for 69. And then the rest of the overs shared out between Irani and Collingwood. 250 for nine is what uh, England managed to just restrict India to in the end. So the target, 50 overs available to England. That was confirmed by the match referee. The required rate, 5.02. The target, 251. Marcus Ruskothic is uh, out there opening the innings, as is his wont. His partner is Nick Knight. Very quickly out of his box, and that would have been all over. In fact, it is all over. Brilliant fielding. Nick Knight has, in effect, run himself out. Looking for that quick single. 
I think that halfway down there he suddenly realised that he might just have misjudged that. It needed a direct hit. India got it. And the first wicket falls from the first ball of the second over. And he picked the wrong fielder, Nick Knight. Mohamed gave the quickest off the turf. And one of the problems this man has been having with direct hits is missed a few in this tournament, but not this important one. Just have a look at Nick Knight. At least a four-yard shot of that crease. What you would call a suicide at this stage. Gone for one. The score six for one. Well, there's the boundary that might just change things round for Marcus Truscothic. That could be out. That's the end of uh, Truscothic. Zaya Khan gives up trying to get him outside the off stump, drops it short. And it came right off the splice of the bat. The simplest of chances. Truscothic is gone. The Indians especially delighted because this is a planned dismissal. They were going to use the short pitcher against Trescothic. Ajit Agarkar had done wonderfully well for India with the short ball, getting Trescothic out at least twice in the one-day series. Zaire Khan bowls a similar delivery. No any other middle of the bat. Tendulkar takes a simple catch. And the agony ends for Trescothic. Gone for eight. The score, 18 for two. He's got that away fine. And we'll find the boundary. Oh, he's edged it. The Indian players are celebrating. Ashish Nehra has got the break. The England captain is furious, punching his bat with his gloves. He's made a fatal mistake here. It's a fail, and it's a prod, and it's a nick, and it's joy for India again. Just when England were getting going. Pressure was off, Ganguly into the attack, but Nera's still there. Excellent delivery, it's too close to Cook. He gets a little feather on it. He's safe this time, Dravid. Another, as they say, big wicket. It's a same this time. 15, England, 52 for three. May have pitched outside. Oh, he's given. First ball duck for Alex Stewart. Indians on fire. We talked about Nasir Hussain being a big wicket. This is another huge one for India. Doubt is, did it pitch outside? Look at the joy there for India and Nera. Good on him. I'll play in this game. I've got a dicky ankle and he's got two wickets here. Where's it pitch? For me, it pitches on and we'll soon see it. The lines are in. It's fine. Middle, middle and leg. Stuart may think it's a bit high, but it's held its line. And it's a good delivery first up. Game changes, ball by ball. England, 52 for four. That's pulled away. Didn't quite time it, but he'll still get a boundary, Collingwood. Now that's again taken the outside edge. Nera is on a roll at the moment. Wickets continue to tumble as far as England are concerned. And that is a big, big blow. Michael Vaughan departs. England have lost half their side. A little outside edge. No problems for Dravid. It's Michael Vaughan gone for 20. It's 62 for 5. Fine shot. That's a very well played. It's Collingwood looking good. 84 for 5, 25 overs have been bowled, Harbhajan Singh continuing, and that's a big one, clears long on, first six for Flintoff. And there we go, more movement, more bounce, outside edge, and Paul Collingwood is taken at slip. He's bowled immaculately, this is another ball, bullseye in the area, good luck Fred. The departing Paul Collingwood says England have got a massive ass now, but Nera has bowled wonderfully well. He's put the ball in the right areas, he's got pace, he's got aggression, he's got a touch of movement and he's got the ideal pitch. Outside edge and a slip in position, safe hands. Joy once again. Wasn't due to play this guy, I'm very glad he, he did do. Paul Collingwood has gone for 18, 93 for six. 
Well, that's gone fine. Now, the thing is whether it's buys or wides. Oh, there you go. It's Rams. Well, the figures are better now. That's his fifth wicket. Well, it's been incredible, and it's that same delivery, a decent pace, full of length, and across a right-handed batsman, Craig White, this time, on the drive. How many times do we see it? There's a break, and then a wicket falls immediately. Keeper's done well again. Craig White, 13, England, 107 for seven. Edged and gone. That is a record for any Indian player in world cr cricket. He has now got six for 23. England well and truly scuppered. It's like a procession, it's Ronnie Irani this time. An Indian bowler with pace, creating mayhem. Irani non, England, 107 for eight. Well, that's found a way through, through Raul Dravid. Four runs to Andy Caddick. And that has gone far enough. First ball of his spell goes over square leg for six. That's going to be six more. That's even bigger than the first one, bouncing on top of that roof. That's 50 for Andrew Flintoff. England might be struggling, but Andrew Flintoff himself today has performed as a true all-rounder. And more runs. No, taken at the wicket. Magnificently taken. Virenda Sevag, the catcher. Well, I had four written all over it. Full toss. I'm not sure he got all of it, but he got a fair bit of it, Andy Flintoff. He'd have thought this was another boundary. The Sawak and other ideas. Let's check this out. A little high on the bat, but it still looks as he's going to get past him. He have to take up goalkeeping. Excellent catch. And a fine innings from Flintoff comes to an end. He'll be disappointed he missed out on hitting that one away. 64 from 73. And England have lost their ninth wicket. 162 for nine. That's wrapped on the pads. The finger has gone up. It's all over. A comprehensive win for the Indians. They win by 82 runs. And it's been a great effort. 16 points India now. They join Australia with 16 points in Pool A. Well, England a long way short in the end, despite that resistance in the closing stages from Andrew Flintoff. He personally had a very good day with uh, some fine bowling in the first part, some great hitting in the second part, but the top order were blown away. That was the real damage for England. If they were going to get anywhere close to this target, they needed someone in that top five or six to make a suitably big score and someone else to play around, but it wasn't to be. So England bowled out for 168. There's some fine bowling all the way through for the Indians. They started well with Zaya Khan and Javagal Srinath, the experienced Srinath. But things really took off for India when Ashish Nehra was introduced into the attack. Despite the uh, ankle injury that we'd all heard about before the game, he bowled impeccably. He bowled with fire, he bowled with pace and some supreme accuracy too. So wonderful figures for him. Ten overs, two maidens, six for 23. So the final result. India batting first, having won the toss, 250 for nine. England in reply, 168. India winning by 82 runs.